We're asked, in the equation above, b and c are constants. What is the value of b plus c? And they give us the equation over here. So pause this video and see if you can have a go at that before we work through this together. All right, now let's work through this together. And it looks like what's happening is we have a quadratic on the left. And then on the right, we have that same quadratic that is factored out, although they don't tell us what b and c are. We have to figure that out. So one way to tackle this is, actually, let me just rewrite the left-hand side of this. So it is 2x squared plus 16x plus 30. And what I want to do is try to get it as close to the form that I have on the right as possible. So it looks like they factored out a 2. So let me do that. So this is equal to 2 times. And if any of this factoring of quadratics is unfamiliar to you, I encourage you to review that on Khan Academy, on the, the non-SAT portion of Khan Academy to get the basics. But if we factor out a 2 out of this first term, you're just left with an x squared. You factor out a 2 out of 16x, you get 8x. And you factor a 2 out of 30, and you get plus 15. And then it looks like what they have done is they have factored this part into x plus b times x plus c. And the simplest way to factor things is to say, all right, are there two numbers that when I add them, I get 8, and that when I multiply them, I get 15. And those two numbers are actually going to be b and c. This is one of our main factoring techniques. So b plus c needs to be equal to 8, and b times c needs to be equal to 15. And if we figure that out, then we can factor completely. Well, we've just actually answered their question. b plus c needs to be equal to 8. And so 8's the answer. Now, let me just factor this out completely so that you can see that a little bit more completely. I'm using the word completely a lot. So if I were to factor this out, this is the same thing as 2 times the two numbers that add up to 8. And when I multiply them, I get 15. Let's see, 3 and 5 seem to work. So it's going to be 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 4. 5. You can verify that. 3 times 5, you're going to get that 15 there. And then when you multiply these two binomials, you're going to get 3x plus 5x, which is going to be 8x. And so you can see that you can either treat b as 3 and c as 5, or b as 5 and c as 3. But either way, b plus c is going to be equal to 8.